Have you ever fallen in love with a man, but you are scared that he will be interested in other women? In this video, I'm going to be breaking down some of the reasons of why this happens and how you can prevent it. Hello ladies, my name is Yeva Briyashaita. I am one of Gratia's high value women coaches. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing four tips that will make your guy less interested in other women. Before we get into today's video, if you haven't already, make sure that you take the self-awareness test that you can find in the description section below. When you take that test, you will find out if you are a woman of high value or if you are a woman of low value. So without further ado, let's jump into tip number one. Tip number one is all about being aware of your emotions and not being needy. When it comes to the starting stages of a relationship, everything seems so magical, especially when you guys really like each other. It feels great, the conversations are good, and you guys are attracted to each other. In some cases, the woman might feel more attracted to the guy than the guy is attracted to her. If this happens, the woman becomes vulnerable because her heart is then literally out there. You know, it's much more likely to get hurt. Sometimes women become so attached to the guy because they like him so much that they become scared when the conversation gets a little bit less or when you guys speak less to each other, the woman might automatically be scared. Women tend to want to be in that in love stage for a long time, right? And the in love stage that I'm talking about is really the beginning of the relationship when you get butterflies in your tummy, when there is real excitement of meeting the person again and when we are in that in love stage, everything's great. But at some point, that stage does pass. You might want to be in that in love and romantic and exciting stage of the relationship at the beginning for as long as possible. And when that in love stage ever so slightly starts disappearing, a lot of women tend to become needy. And because women become needy or a lot of women become needy in this stage, they reach out to the guy more. They start pursuing him more than they would normally do, would in the hopes of keeping that in love and exciting butterfly stage alive. It is very important to enjoy the beginning stages of a relationship when you get butterflies in your tummy, when you're excited to see each other and so on. Those stages are important, but women or we should not be blinded by them. When we get blinded by love in that stage, and don't really think rationally, but just only really think with our emotions, a lot of the time problems do arise because the woman in this case tends to become needy, right? And does not act like a challenge anymore and does not let the guy pursue her anymore, but instead pursues him in a way by reaching out, asking if everything's okay, when he contacts her less, right? And that takes a lot of the challenge away for a man and makes the relationship boring for him. When the relationship becomes boring for him, he would then possibly look out for other women. Keep your emotions in place and keep yourself in that high value mindset. Okay, and whatever you do, do not start acting needy and low value because this is one of the reasons why the guy might later on start looking out for other women. Tip number two is to not give away your cookie for as long as you can. 
because women do get emotionally attached after snuggling up with someone or especially sleeping with someone, okay, it is important that that does not happen in the early starting stages of a relationship. This is important because firstly, the benefits of this is that you are guarding your own heart, right? And that is important. That is your duty to basically do. And the second benefit of this is, is that you will be a challenge for the guy. Guys actually remember and they do know just how long it took them to sleep with you right? It doesn't matter how long the relationship is or has been. The guy will know if it, and he will remember if it was easy or if it was a challenge for him. And when you give it away too soon, the chances of a guy being interested long term sink. Basically, don't give your cookie away for as long as you can simply for as long as you feel is appropriate, okay? And when you do this, your relationship will overall improve and will have a certain standard of not being easy to get. He will definitely not forget this and this will make the relationship more special. In addition to this, you will not come across as easy but you will come across more of a challenge. And after all, it's better for you as well. You want to really get to know the person first, right? That's what a high value woman does. She gets to know the person and she finds out if, okay, what he has to offer, is it good enough for me? Can I, you know, imagine a future with this person? If not, then what's really the point of seeing them, right? And so it's very important to keep this tip in mind, especially if you are in this situation of this question kind of arising for you. I can really suggest taking as much time as you need and not giving your cookie away for as long as you can. There are not many women out there who are a challenge, okay, because they do give their cookie away too soon. So be a challenge, right? And because you are going to be a challenge through using this tip, a man will then automatically not be interested in other women because he is focused on you and getting your attention. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also click the bell button to be notified whenever Greta uploads a brand new video. Tip number three is to be high value along the relationship. The problem in a lot of relationships is when they start, right? And when the woman starts acting high value from day one. And if that's the case, that's amazing, right? So starting to act high value from day one or as soon as possible is the way to go. And then keeping that standard throughout the relationship, right? And even if you guys really do get comfortable with each other, still keeping that high value standard all of the time is key. The problem arises when a high value man um, notices that you become needy or that you get really too comfortable in a relationship and let your guard down, let your high value guard down, let him step over your boundaries, go to his place late in the evening, um, meet up for dates spontaneously, um, call him, act needy, um, do things that are not yours to do, right? And that is really, really one of the biggest turn-offs for a man when it comes down to relationships. And I've seen so many relationships fail because the high value standard is not kept 
throughout the relationship, right? For example, um, when a woman is in a relationship and in the beginning she might seem hard to get and is a challenge and so on, and then she really starts liking the guy. She really starts liking the guy and she kind of lets her guard down and really opens up, talks lots about her past, um, and really doesn't guard her heart and really just falls in love with like, what do you call it? Like when you're blinded by love, right? That will not last long. He will want to, most guys will then take advantage of that and sleep with you and then they won't call you back, right? So the best case scenario is to act high value and see what he has to offer. And when you do get into the relationship, of course, enjoy the relationship and enjoy the beautiful parts and the falling in love and everything that the relationship has to offer. But remember that you are in charge of still like guarding your heart and acting high value, right? It is important to um, not let that standard that you set in the start of the relationship fall. And that might be the trickiest part for some women, okay? Especially when being high value doesn't come completely naturally yet, okay? And things that don't come naturally straight away have to be learned and practiced. Of course, a relationship is work and it does take time to find the right balance for your own relationship and to see what really works well in your relationship, right? It does take work and it does take time. And it is also important not just to be preoccupied with your relationship, but to have, of course, a life outside of that. That way, you will also naturally always be a challenge for your guy. Tip number four is to be a little bit mysterious. Being mysterious and being a chase goes hand in hand. When a guy doesn't fully know what you are up to, you automatically are seen as a challenge. When you give too much away of your life without him even asking what you're up to, already you're giving away the mystery. When you talk about your entire life story on dates in full detail, the mystery is gone. When you talk about the past a lot, the mystery is also gone. I know of a lot of women that were there in the starting stages of relationships and they go on dates and they overshare and then they think, oh, I shouldn't have said that, I shouldn't have said that. So if you are that type of person that really, really likes talking naturally, right? And maybe you're afraid that you're going to be oversharing. Um, sometimes it is definitely better to say less than it is more and to kind of get that habit of thinking before speaking. It sounds super simple, but not that many people do it. And it really does save us from a lot of unnecessary situations or a lot of embarrassing and awkward and low value situations. This is sometimes easier said than done. So again, one of the best things that you can do is when you are in the relationship, see what balance works best for you, how much mystery and how much, you know, of a challenge um, works well for your specific relationship. It's a little bit different in every relationship since people are a little bit different, you know, personality wise and so on. And um, see what works best for you in your own relationship. Mystery does, however, go a long way and it is a very intriguing trait to have. Not many people have it nowadays, especially because of social media. But if you do have that mystery, that is very intriguing for a man. That's about it, ladies. Those were my four tips. If you like this video, then give me a thumbs up and let me know which tip you like the most in the description section below. If you haven't already, then make sure you join Greta's High Value Women's School. 
It's a free Facebook group where you learn how to bring out the best in your man and you can find that free Facebook group in the description section below. And if you would like to know how to stay attractive via text, what games men play on women and, or how to control your emotions, how to get your ex back, or how to love yourself, or perhaps you have a hobby that you want to turn into an online business, well, Greta has all of these and more videos up for sale on her website, and you can find that in the description section down below as well. And if you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, Greta, or any other member of Greta's team, then just go on gretabereshade.com and you can find the link to Greta's website in the description section below. And if you don't follow Greta on her Instagram, then make sure you do that right now. Her Instagram is a ladies relationship coach. You can find the link below as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'd absolutely love to know again which tip you like the most. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe to Greta's channel. And I cannot wait to see you next time. Bye.